Hey guys, Chelsea here, and today I'm gonna teach you how to take your picture from this to this using Photoshop. More specifically, I'll be showing you how to use your gradient fill layer and how to use it to make soft light in your photos and enhance colors in your background. So I'm working with this Osprey picture here. You can work with any picture that you'd like to add a, sa a soft glow to or enhance the colors in the background. So a portrait with fall colors or um, with flowers with that bouquet. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is create a gradient and you want to click on the gradient, make sure it's color to transparent. So it's a color and then it moves over to a transparent part. And we will click this bottom color and select the color. And I'm gonna go for a soft pink. Click okay, okay. And now you can see that there's a gradient from pink to transparent. I want this to be radial because I'd like it to be a circle. And you can see that there's a bit of pink here from the fall colors in the background. And I wanna bring those out and just make the whole, color, the whole picture brighter and softer and a bit prettier. Capturing the spirit of the picture, I think. So we have the radial style on, we have our gradient color. And I'm gonna put it about here so that it just kind of leaks onto my subject only a little bit. And click OK. And next, I'm going to go and add soft light to it so that it's transparent. If you aren't adding colors to your background and you'd just like this to be a soft glow, you can use screen and you can lower your opacity and then it looks like there's a soft light coming from the corner. Since I'm trying to make it look like the fall colors, I'll go with soft light and that makes it a bit more transparent. Now that I've done that, you can raise or lower your opacity to your taste. I'm gonna go a bit more dramatic than I normally would, I think. And then I'll click on the mask here. And the mask is white, so we'll select a brush and use black. And I'll put my opacity to about 25%. And then I'm just gonna blend in the color because the background colors wouldn't be influencing these things in the foreground here. So I'll just take the pink away from the stick and a little bit off of the bird here. We don't want a technicolored bird. Maybe you do. That's not what I'm about right now. And then we're going to repeat this process. So we had some pinks in the corner. I see some greens, cooler greens, yellows, oranges. I'm going to add a bit of orange and brighten up the picture. So let's go into gradient again. Same thing. Click here select this bottom color and now we're going to choose a nice warm orange okay and then like if you wanted to go linear you could you could make it coming down like that that's a matter of taste I'm sticking with the radial shape now just because I'd like it to look like it's coming from the corner the side over here okay and then again, I'll do soft light. And you can see it's subtle. It still looks fairly natural. You could even go into your mask again and you could, well, let me show you. When I undo it, you can see that there's different colors here. You could get a little more specific where you want your colors to be. And I'm gonna select my mask and I'll put my opacity down because I don't mind him being warmed up a little bit. But get the colors off of him just a tad and then you'll repeat that process with different colors so I'll do another one gradient and this time I'll do a nice bright green more of a yellowy green because that's kind of what the uh, leaves start to look like. You can experiment. You might decide that you don't like it. You can always erase that layer. Let's see some green up here. And then this, I definitely don't want this color on him. 
because that looks unnatural. And I'm even going to remove it from over here because I'd like this pink to come out more. I just think that's a more interesting color. You could add more or less depending on if you like that look. What I usually do um, is just go through and, and lower my opacity a bit. I tend to acclimate to my edits and then I can look at it the next day and just think that it looks ridiculous. So I tend to play it safe and maybe go down to about 75%. And, and then I, I like to walk away and come back and look at it again just to make sure I haven't gone overboard. So next, let's see what it would look like if we changed it to screen mode and you had more of that soft glow. And you see this a lot. It's very popular in uh, child portraits, especially where you see that sunburst in the corner. This is one way to achieve that look. You can go into your gradient layer again, select your color again. It's pretty much the same process. Get a nice warm glow. And then radial, you can move the scale up and then just have it coming off the edge more like this. And if you screen, then it becomes more transparent. And then the same thing with that, with that layer, I like to go into uh, the mask and just delete it some from the subject. Because it starts to take away the detail and that's not good, especially in wildlife photography. This bird is looking like a little overly dramatic and sexy for me, for my taste. Okay, let's go in. And I'm going to bring that all the way down since that's not something I really want to do. So anyway, that is how you add colors um, and that soft pop of light. So if you like the tutorial, you can comment below. I'm going to provide this picture so that you can work along with me. Thanks.